and then Cyrus will go right or north with Allison. I don't know if that's north. It's complete. It's it's up the up direction. So I want to get to that door, but still playing it safe. You know what? Just dash. Just do it. Oh boy. I should not have done that. Should not have done that at all. Oh boy. Oh boy. God dang it. You guys can't move anywhere. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. He's he's freaking dead, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy, Doug. Oh boy, Doug. What have I done to you? Um freaking just dash to the door, dude. But if I do that, then they're going to burst out this door and have you flanked too, Cyrus. Ah, uh, there's no windows or anything I can shoot out of. I can go here. On my way. And I'm Overwatch ready. in case one of them moves. Courtney, you're moving up. Go Target here. Quickly. It's not going to help, but... If they choose to shoot at you, you have a better chance of defending yourself. Now, Allison, you're going to move up with Cyrus. You're going to take position... Eh, uh, back here. Roger, Dodger. Hopefully there's no more aliens over there. Good. Oh boy, here we go. He's powering up his friend. His friend will hit harder, I think, as well as the increased health. Oh boy. Oh no. I know, I know! Oh, it only did two, that's good. We're still good, we're still in this. Still in this, Doug. See if you can take that freaking alien out. I'm on it, Commander. Oh, you have him flanked. Perfect. Kill him. No! You can actually just. Oh. Well, Doug, you got two kills, but at what cost? Ten meld. That's what cost. That sucks. All right. Heading move up. Location. Cyrus and Allison will move around the outside of the barn this way. There's still one more container, though, somewhere. You can freaking shoot through containers and stuff and destroy them. I did not know that. I did not know that. Um. Oop. I'm move here. Got over oh boy. Here. Uh, that's okay. I moved him into a position where it's not easy to flank him. Courtney, move up here. It, oh, there's the ship. Uh, Overwatch for now. I just know if I have her dash up, she's gonna freaking see stuff that's gonna suck. Double you move here. I'm gonna try and flank them. I know I'm splitting Cyrus and Allison up quite a bit. I'm actually splitting the whole team up quite a bit. But I think it's for the best because we can move into a flanking position. Who are you gonna shoot at? Are you kidding me? Haha, <laughs> you missed. Alright, Doug. You are gonna move. Good to go. Move here for now. You can't really... Maybe Courtney can. If I move her here... Aye, aye. Alien object inside. Yes! 55%? Whatever, take it. Yes! Good girl! That's two kills. You killed them both there. Six freaking damage. Good job. Good job. Allison, your sister's freaking outclassing you in every way, shape, and form right now. What are you going to do about that, huh? This map goes really far this way. I don't know if I should explore all the way. Where's this other meld container? Mm, do it. 
Doug. You're going to have to give away your position by crashing through that window. There's the other meld. Oh, he's dashing. That's okay. Look sharp. Enemies oh, boy. Oh, frick. These guys are tough. I mean, they, they only have three health, but they hit hard. Cyrus. Um, I'm still debating whether Doug and Courtney should try and take the UFO alone. I'm sure they can. They've already killed four sectoids. Cyrus and Allison will keep going this way. Solid Dash up to ready. here where you're pretty well protected. And Allison's got the one open side, so... See what happens. Ah, Doug, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, dude. You're gonna freaking die. Oh, man. There's no cover between here and that stupid alien. What can you do? What can you do, Doug? You may just need to retreat. So there's nowhere I can go. Unless... Ah, I don't want to throw a grenade, though, because it's damaging stuff. Even though it would be an ins an automatic kill. On that guy. I really should. It's probably saving Doug's life. Do it. I'm making the call. Kill him with shrapnel. Whew. Up another one. There you go. You survived, Doug, and you got promoted. Good job. Let's head on home. Where it's safe. For now. It is 8 p.m. Nigerian time? <laughs> oh, nice. Courtney's a heavy and Doug's a sniper. Good job, you guys. Oh, wow. Doug, you are wounded for 14 freaking days. But you can headshot stuff now. So it's a plus 30% crit chance and extra damage if you get a crit hit based on your rank. Good job. And Courtney can now fire freaking rockets. But only if you don't move that turn. And only once per mission. But still, it's a rocket. <laughs> Alright guys, good work. We got the computer. Oh, but we did damage one. And damage the power source. I only hit the outside of the UFO, that's not fair. I guess maybe the shock waves or something. The instruments must be pretty fragile, even though it survived being splashed by missiles and crash landing. One little grenade goes off on the exterior of the UFO and they're all damaged. Maybe they would have been damaged either way, I don't know. Alright. Um, still not much I can do though, is there? So I'm still just waiting. So, let's do some more of that. Aircraft ah. transfer complete. What did that say? <gasps> yes! Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna show you. As the alien attacks have become more frequent, our casualty rate has climbed. Our troop shortage is becoming a problem. What are you talking about? At the Not a single person has died. <laughs> we have like. Fifteen soldiers, you freaking tool bag. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you me. There I am. Suited up for Arctic exploration. So now I will be able to enter the fray with my soldiers. I wouldn't have it any other way, except if I die, because then I would want it another way, but... For now... I'll just, I'll just be a rookie, and I'm like all the rest of you. But just treat me like your boss still. Treat me with, res with respect still, because I'm still... I'm going to kick you out if you don't tell me how awesome I am. On a regular basis. Alright. Alright. 
Alright, so... I'm gonna go to the situation room. Um... I don't know if during editing you'll notice or not, but I haven't actually... I'm just getting back from... It's been about a day since I played this game last. So I'm gonna go to the situation room and go to the gray market to sell... I know I got some damaged stuff from that UFO, so... Sell that and sell that. Get me some extra moolah. So as you can see in the description, it says it has no research benefit. It can be sold freely because it's damaged, so you can't use it for research. So I just sell it. <clears throat> I have 12 sectoid corpses. I have one functional flight computer. Not researched. None of this stuff is researched except the alloys, apparently. Nothing to report at the moment. Boards are clear. So... Okay, so we get about 400 simoleons a month, but we have over a hundred of that is spent on maintenance automatically. So that's why we only get 286 a month. But what I'm thinking is, next thing I'm going to build, ah, no items, facilities. Um, I mean, obviously once this is done, I'm going to build two power generators there. Uh, which will give us pretty much all the power we will need until we reach the third level. I'm going to build another... Well, can I build a... I can't. What I'm wondering is if I remove this officer training school, am I able to build another one? Because it's not in my current list of options. But if I remove this, then will it become available to build? Because I really want to build onto this satellite uplink. Um, I think, I think I only need one more engineer. I think I have nine engineers. Um, and then I'll build another uplink there. Hopefully, if I remove that and I can't build another one, that would freaking suck. I have to figure out what I'm going to build here, here, and here. <clears throat> what I'm thinking is uh, lab, workshop, and then like random stuff on the far side with another power generator down there. So, I mean, if I do need another, I could just build another workshop right now and get more engineers. Hmm. And then on the second level down, I can build this underneath it because it counts as a workshop so you know what enough analyzing that's not what you're here to watch so right now I'm gonna we have a we have a hundred seventy seven credits with 19 days to the report so hold off on building stuff right now but I might get another satellite on the way commander our current satellite uplink facilities are at full Ooh, capacity. That would we break the bank. I'm just going to build one for now. To allow for new satellite deployments. Um, yeah, see, satellites take 20 days to build. So that's going to be a while. <clears throat> Alright, I think it's... I think we're good to start scanning again. Janina's back to active duty, finally. Access lift is done. Excavate, excavate. Mm, yeah, it's good for now. I'm going broke, slowly but surely. Zack and Mark are back. There we go, weapon fragments. 